So these are different times, which means you're all going to ignore the fact that I wore this shirt on Monday for that video. You're going to ignore that. And we're going to jump right into today's video. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, AKA TJ Two swoosh chains. It's Friday. We made it through another week. Hopefully you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, which means staying home stay at home. I don't know how hard that is to grasp. Please just stay at home, you know, in the proper context, right? If you need to run out, get your essentials, get medications, uh, go get some food. Okay, you go ahead by all means you do that. I plan on doing that myself. As soon as we are done premiering this here, trust me, I am definitely going to get food. I'm not sure what yet. Probably Wingstop, because they know me by name. I'm not even joking. You know me by name, but uh, we are we're, we're continuing on with the creator series, right? So if you've watched my Friday videos, you know that's exactly what I focus on. Now this isn't in relation just to creators. This is for anybody. So you want to run a small business one day? This is for you too. And don't be scared away about the fact we're we're kind of in some weird times. Okay, when you want to pursue um, being an owner of a business, and I don't care if that's like a sole proprietorship, a a actual partnership with somebody else, or you know two individuals, or you're trying to run like an actual business, you're managing multiple employees beyond just you know two. You need to, uh, you're gonna have to weather some things, right? Creators are weathering things right now. And when I say that, I mean like creatives where their actual job is done uh, by creating content for other individuals and bigger brands, right? When you see people that are in ads, whether it be for um, Foot Locker, whether it be like Nike Training Club, different things like that, these are individuals that are hired to perform these roles, uh, these jobs, whatever it may be. So just, you know, keep that in mind. They're weathering things just like real businesses are going through their own hurdles and obstacles right now because these are just uncertain times everybody is trying to figure out um where do we go next where do we go from here and i think for people that want to venture into that lane a really good thing for you to do i would say don't just jump all in first and i know some people may say that's wrong but here's why i say that what I would actually recommend, and this is what Gary Vee is telling people to do, you know, when you think, hey, I have an idea, maybe it could generate some income, how should I go about it? Keep your day job. And I'm not, th this, I know, just don't say that's like too soon in relation to people that don't have jobs right now or that are furlough furloughed, okay? I'm very sympathetic to that. But keep your day job and then start the side business because that allows you to learn so much about yourself. And I'm gonna break it down. Um, I think a lot of people, first off again, I do believe that a lot of people think saying they're an entrepreneur is a cool thing to do, right? It's the sexy thing to put in your bio. There are a lot of people who have that in their bio right now and they are not working. So you want to be an entrepreneur, okay? I mean, you're in charge of it all. And I do mean it all. Now, you're gonna learn about yourself. Hopefully you're self-aware to know that you don't know everything. And the key to this is to hire the experts who know things, all right? You are supposed to see the bigger picture. Um, you have a passion. That bigger picture is what you're supposed to see, but that means you're gonna need to be in charge of the lawyers and the accountants and the marketing director and whoever's in charge of managing sales and just all that, you know, transportation, all that. You have to oversee the bigger picture. So if you're not good at leadership, if you're just a boss, you're not good at leadership, you're gonna learn that about yourself. And if you don't learn it about yourself, somebody's gonna tell that to you. So uh, employees will tell you about yourself. So you're gonna learn a lot of things about yourself. Um, you may very well learn that it's kind of just something you like and it's not a real passion you should be owning a business for. There's nothing wrong with that. You need to maybe take that deep dive to be able to know that. That's one reason why I would say don't quit your day job just first because what starts out is you're super excited. Um, you may find out, and this is not a knock towards you, you may just not have it. And I mean by have it as you may not have that uh, that perseverance, that grittiness to go through it because like Gary Vee says, you, you gotta be willing to play in the dirt for a while before you actually start to make it up there and see the clouds and, and feel like you're on cloud nine. And you may look at somebody else's journey and think, well, it only took them this number of years to get here. Why is it taking me longer? This system is broken. Something is this, something is that. Um, listen, you can't blame your shortcomings or things that don't work on everybody else and everything else. There will always be external factors that come into play, but um, 
You're gonna learn some things. You may learn this just it's just not for you. Whatever it is you wanted to go about, that's why I say don't quit your day job when you're doing that. Now you may learn that you develop a different passion. Like whatever you start for the business, you may learn that you have a different passion. Okay, so what I mean by that is let's just say you start in sneaker YouTube, for example and you have a passion for kicks, we all do, you're tuning into this, you have a passion for sneakers. And once you start to uh, edit videos and things, you may learn you have a passion for actual editing, for videography, for photography. And instead of it just being about kicks, you may start to branch off into totally other things that don't have to do with sneakers. You just want to photograph and you just want to capture um, stories and, and bring them to life via picture or via video. That's an amazing thing. So once again, you're gonna learn some things about yourself, but you won't do that unless you do take that dive. So take it, but take it with a plan, take it with some precautions in mind. Um, and don't have a timeline of expectations. I just think that sets yourself up, you sets yourself up for failure. So don't have that, all right? Um, hopefully this helps somebody in a little bit of a small way, you know? I'm no expert in a thing. I just get up here and I talk and y'all happen to watch and listen and I appreciate you for that. All right, so I hope you have an amazing weekend. As always, at your age, not your shoe size. I have no idea if you guys are going for, are, are the shoes releasing this? This Saturday, I'm guessing there are shoes releasing this Saturday. Okay, well, I don't plan on picking up anything, just so you know. Um, I, I might have some gifts very soon on the way. I don't know when they're arriving, though. But, you know, as always, have a good day. Peace.